U.S. stocks ended lower on Monday, ahead of key inflation data due later in the week. The Dow shed four-tenths of a percent, and the S&P 500 and Nasdaq both lost roughly three-tenths of a percent. But it was the first session after all three indexes notched their biggest weekly percentage gains of the year, leading Lisa Erickson, head of public markets group at U.S. Bank Wealth Management, to chalk up Monday's losses to profit-taking. We're really having a little bit of a reset market today. If you just think about 2024 as a whole, you have a situation where the market has been fairly Goldilocks, encouraged both by signs of uh, inflation slowly and bumpily moving to its target, as well as uh, the Fed on pause and then hopefully potentially moving to pivot. And yet the macro fundamental is generally coming in better than expected. And so we've really actually had just quite a nice run in terms of equity prices. Last week, the Federal Reserve maintained its guidance for three interest rate cuts this year. Markets are now pricing in a more than 70 percent chance of a rate cut in June, according to CME's FedWatch tool. In company news, shares of Boeing rose more than 1 percent after the company announced a broad management shakeup that included the departure this year of CEO Dave Calhoun as the plane maker looks to resolve its aircraft safety issues. Shares of Walt Disney gained 3 percent after Barclays upgraded the stock to overweight from equal weight. And Micron Technology, whose memory chips are used in artificial intelligence-related hardware, surged more than 6 percent to close at a record high. The February reading of the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, is due on Friday when markets will be closed for the Good Friday holiday.